Happy New Year! My name is Taryn and I am a chemistry and math teacher in Canada. I'm doing this vlog type of thing for the very first time ever and putting it up on the YouTube channel of my boyfriend and me. Um, I'm calling this series Diary of a Teacher because I thought it would be fun and interesting to share what I go through in the experience of being a teacher and to hopefully connect with other teachers in the YouTube community. Um, today is the first day back from winter break, so it's January 7th of 2019. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to be showing a few clips of what I'm doing today and then I will come back at the end of the day and talk about a few more things. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Good morning. Happy first day of school. I'm so tired, but I'm ready. So by the time I get to work, look, it's not pitch black outside anymore. beginning of every class is write the agenda on the board so that the students come in and know exactly what to expect for the day's lesson. So for advanced placement chemistry 12 in first block today, um, I'm first having them write New Year's resolutions for themselves that I will collect and then hand back to them in June so they can see where they're at. Um, I have some work to hand back to them that I marked for them over winter break. We will then practice equilibrium calculations and Le Chatelier's principle that we were working on in December. Um, to check their understanding, I will be playing something called clickers with them. I can maybe talk about that in another video. And then to get some feedback from them on how they're doing with what they're learning, I will have them write an entry in their learning log. The outfit I'm wearing today includes a blazer by Wilfred from Aritzia. Um, this is a bodysuit from Aritzia. This is a skirt from Aritzia. Almost my whole outfit is from Aritzia. Um, the tights are from Forever 21. And then my shoes um, are from a Nine West outlet. I arrived about half an hour early for work today, which I enjoy because I get to do a few things before starting my teaching. And so I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and then review my to-do list and maybe get one item done. It's so sad that I'm gonna have to take all the holiday decorations down. So sad. I'm now on my lunch break on the first day back and the day has gone really well so far. I'm actually done all of my teaching for the day because this afternoon I have something called a prep block, which is time that teachers use for marking and lesson planning. Um, teachers generally don't have a lot of time at all for lunch. Uh, at my school, I have 45 minutes for lunch and I know that I find it very hard to actually have enough time to eat um, because I also try to use my lunch time to um, check my mailbox and do little errands around the school and offer time for students to see me and ask questions. So by the time I have done some of those things and prepared my food and sit down to eat, I sometimes only have about 10 minutes to eat. Um, my boyfriend has really encouraged me to be better at eating properly at work. I used to be really bad at just not really eating all day, um, but I really made an effort this year to eat a proper meal for lunch. So I'm going to prepare that now um, and I'll come back a little bit later. I had a couple of Christmas gifts in my mailbox, so that was a nice surprise. Um, this one here is a candy gram from a student, so nice. And this one, I'm not sure yet who it's from. Probably a staff member. They called me by my first name. Aw, oh, such a cute card. Nice. Yes, it is from a staff member. I love, love Lindor chocolates. And oh my gosh, I love tea. I love having all different kinds of tea. And I have a tea station in my classroom. So these look really good caramel shortbread and forever nuts. 
My school is in silent reading right now, which we have daily after lunch. And right now, my book for silent reading is Wonder Women. Um, I'm really enjoying this book because it is a collection of short biographies um, about women who have contributed significantly to science, but who aren't really known for those contributions. Um, so it is amazing to read about what these women have done and their scientific achievements and also how they have overcome a number of challenges. It's about that time of day where I am running a bit low on energy, so I think it's time to eat one of these. What do you think? If you are a teacher or wanting to become a teacher, you need to know how to get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. Otherwise, you will not survive the workload. <laughs> so in the past hour that I've had my prep block, I have done the following. I have double checked that everything is ready for my lessons tomorrow. I have chosen the next labs that I wanna do in Chemistry 12. They are from these two books and I have um, plan those out and put in requests for that to our lab tech who prepares all of the materials for us. We are so lucky to have him at our school. I have photocopied a review package for the topic that I am finishing up in Chem 12. I have gone through um, a list of content for the AP Chemistry curriculum just to kind of check where we're at and how much we've done so far. Um, so this is my AP Chemistry manual and it has an extremely detailed list of the content of the curriculum. So once in a while I check which items are finished and which items we still need to learn so that I can ensure my students are ready for the exam in May. And finally I checked on um, my list of students who attended and did not attend my field trip um, from a little while ago just to check that with the office and how much money re was received and make sure that everything is balanced. To allow you to get to know me a little bit, I'm going to share my teaching philosophies with you. So these are philosophies that I've come up with for myself over many years of teaching. And they are philosophies that I share with my students and their parents at the beginning of every school year. So the first one is that I tell my students, you are my priority. My overall goal as a teacher and of education is for students to learn. So every decision I make is with them in mind and I try to make decisions that benefit them and their needs as much as possible. I also try to make myself available as often as possible in case they need some extra support. Secondly, everyone has the right to learn. So no matter what a student's needs or strengths or weaknesses are, I want every student to feel comfortable learning in my classroom. And so this means that I need to get to know the needs of every student and make sure that my lessons cater to each student's individual needs and characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses. All people, beliefs, and perspectives are accepted here. I want my classroom to be a place that welcomes everybody, and I don't ever want any student to feel disrespected or undervalued. And so I tell my students that they need to um, show this themselves, I will model it for them, and if they ever feel like they are not being valued in my classroom, to please express that so that I can address that situation. I tell my students, your voice matters. My students are such amazing, intelligent, engaging, capable people, and I want them to feel like they can talk to me and that their voice is important. So this means a few things. I want them to participate as much as possible in my classes. I want them to tell me their thoughts and opinions. I want them to tell me if there's a concern. 
I tell them that I'm a very understanding teacher, so really anything they come to me with, I will never dismiss them. I will always have an open ear to listen to their thoughts and concerns and needs. I tell my students that it's okay to make mistakes. I find that a lot of people today have anxiety and a high amount of stress. I think part of this is because people are having a hard time coping with failure or making mistakes. So I want my students to learn and be okay with making mistakes um, because that is an important way to learn and it's a valuable way to grow as well, to learn how to cope with adversity and things not going smoothly. So those are my teaching philosophies and I'm always thinking about them, especially with the many, many decisions that a teacher has to make in one day. So I really try to shape what I do around those philosophies. My students are extremely important to me and I'm always striving to be a good educator for them. Okay, so after finishing our January staff meeting, my workday is now over. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you give me a like and press subscribe and perhaps leave some comments down below on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks and see you soon.